Now the Atlantic forest of Rio de Janeiro is the only place in the world where the golden lion tamarind exists in the wild. The monkeys now face the threat of being isolated due to a major highway in the area. Conservationists are ramping up efforts now to bring the species back from the brink of extinction. Our next report gets you all the details. This is the golden lion tamarind. It is only in the Atlantic forest of Rio de Janeiro where this group of monkeys still exists in the wild. And now the population of monkeys is seeing a big dip. All because of a new busy highway near the forested area. Today we can say that we have something like 2,500 animals in the wild. So in terms of number of animals it's quite a, uh, an important achievement. On the other hand, in the 2014, our census identified that something like 3,700 animals. That means from 2017 until today, after the arrival of the yellow fever, we had for the first time a decreasing of the population. And this called us the attention very much. We are really uh, concerned about uh, the, the risk that we have working with a, a species that has a small population in a very specific area. It's endemic of the interior of Rio de Janeiro state, nowhere else in the Atlantic forest, nowhere else in Brazil or in the world. This is the only place in the world where we have the gold lion tamarind in the wild. You heard him. This happens to be the only place in the world where the golden lion tamarind exists freely in the wild. Conservationists are now sounding an alarm about how isolated this species is, which is now hampering conservation efforts. Efforts are now on to create a landscape for conservation, all in a bid to protect them. We are trying to create a landscape uh, uh, conservation area, protected and connected. We need that. We need a, a large forest protected and connected with at least 2,000 gold lion tamarinds and 25,000 hectares of forest. So what we have today is a forest that's very much fragmented, as we can see here in this landscape. Too many pastures, we have uh, roads, small cities and other infrastructures that uh, uh, do not help to create this connectivity. That's why this, this point here was so strategic and important for the conservation program. A bridge was built last year, planted with trees and shrubs to make it attractive for the monkeys to cross over. But it remains to be seen if these conservation efforts will actually help the endangered species or not. Bureau Report, Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.